Hello. <laughs> I never know how to start these. Yo, I have a great video today. I was thinking of doing this for a while now, and um, I figured I'd kind of intertwine it into the dunk analysis. So basically, I wanted to do a whole dunk journey analysis of how I got my first dunk and all through my whole journey just to kind of give insight to where I was, what I was thinking, what I was doing through the whole journey. So today's one would be how I got my first dunk, but also, um, it's not, my first dunk was not my real first dunk because at the time I didn't know that my first dunk was on like a 9, 9, 9, 10 rim. So I haven't even looked at my first real dunk on a 10 foot hoop because I never really went back because after that I just started to go dunk on different hoops. And I, re I realized after that that other hoops were different heights and legit heights. And I didn't really care at that point because I got my first dunk. So it was all about improving. Um, but I've yet to go back and actually look. I actually have my video open right now, my, my, my page, I mean, of all my videos. And I've looked at it before. I'm like, oh, this is, I've gone back to the video, but I have not watched it yet because I wanted to do it live. So we're doing that now. This is my videos. I have four million videos, as you know. But uh, I'm going to go all the way back. It's, it's, I know, I remember what hoop it was on because I, I scrolled and did this and looked. I'm like, oh, that's probably my first dunk. And before I watched it, I'm like, that'd be a really cool video to make. So this whole analysis may not be the most efficient way to do this. And it might be kind of long form and a lot of uh, information. I almost said unnecessary information, but I feel like everything besides this long intro is going to be useful and insightful for the dunk journey. So what's up, guys, as I'm scrolling? Um... Yeah, so we have a lot of videos here. How many freaking videos? I'm close to like seven. No, I have 749 videos. My Lanta. Is there a faster way to do this? I might speed this part up so a little bit so my voice is like high pitch right now. All right, so we're at January 10, 2017. I got a couple more years to go, but stick with me. Anyway, I just thought that would be really awesome because... Um, and at the time, I definitely did not think that was my first 10-foot dunk. Um, I just thought it was just like a good, like a dunk day that I, I haven't dunked on those courts before and it was like a college hoop. I did it at uh, FAU, which is in South Florida. So I know those are legit. I'm pretty sure I measured them too and they were tough, but I missed those courts too because they were always empty. Um, we're getting there, we're getting there. I think it was 2012. Jeez, been a while already. Um, and then we could look at my first dribble dunk, but I think I knew which one that was because I was more... Uh, looking forward to that one and really trying to get one because my first one was still off the lob the first one um, so we'll go through what I thought was my first dunk first which was this one right here my first dunk 910 bent I put that later so when I first uploaded it I just put it as first dunk because um, here I'll just click it right here okay so I have to watch my own ads so real quick before I play it so let me explain what I was doing before this. So here goes a whole long story. So I really, I'll try to condense it. I started jumping in high school. I think it was sophomore year. I always played basketball, always was jumping, always was dunking on low rims, always loved dunking on my friends. Shout out to my friends. We used to make trampoline dunk videos. And I used to dunk on everyone. Honestly, I was always like the shortest. So I had that like fire to dunk on my friends because I was the shortest by far. So it was always like more emphatic for me to dunk on my friends and more fun and so then um i remember one time at my friend's house he put the hoop all the way up and it was probably like nine eight nine seven maybe even nine nine but we were on the driveway so it was also like tilted which means i can go to like the high part of the driveway and jump and he was dunking because he was taller and i was the only one out of like the short friends that dunked it and we dunked with like a small ball that was like palm size and that's when i was like and i tried a few times i was like wow i have some pretty good jumping ability but I still never even touched the 10 foot rim and I was short. I was probably a little shorter than the 5'10 at that time because I was like middle school. Anyway, back to high school. Um, I was on the JV team in sophomore year. I don't think I could even touch the rim. Um, I was always playing in rec leagues, trying to touch the rim, slapping the backboard, things like that. And then I think it was senior year when I was just at like a PE class and people were trying to touch the rim. And I was like, I think I could touch it if I like try to jump because whenever I would like try to touch something after a few tries, I would get it. Like I would be in the grocery store trying to touch like signs or different doorways, whatever it was. I was always trying to reach and try to touch things. And at the rim, out on an outdoor court off one foot, I just tried to touch the rim, tried it, tried it a couple times. And after like maybe four or five tries, I skimmed it with my fingertips. And that was my first time ever touching a legit rim. And I'm pretty sure that one was 10 feet, not positive even. And then I... Uh, did it a couple more times that day and after that I'm like man I would love to hang on the rim and <clears throat> I started watching videos and on YouTube and I saw people doing it off two feet 
and um, I went to the gym to try to hang on the rim just because it was a goal of mine and I never really tried two foot jumping that much and I don't remember if I saw Andy Nicholson's videos before or after this but it's very much at the same time I went to go hang on the rim because I was I kept touching it off one, off two feet and this is that's this rim that I was that I got my first dunk on my not real first dunk but my first dunk on a legit rim that's in a gym that's why I called it my first dunk and I would jump off two feet and it was off two feet even though my first dunk was off one foot which is weird but I was jump off two feet try to grab it and keep like nicking it and catching it like that but I could never hang and then one day um, I just jumped and just got enough of my fingertips to hang and that was a huge day and I might have that video somewhere except my one of my hard drives got corrupted so I might have to like recover that anyway I might have that video somewhere and I got it the very first time I hung on the rim ever and that was a huge accomplishment for me and then I actually broke my ankle playing basketball and had to recover from that and when I came back from that I, I was back to square one couldn't even hang on the rim and had to relearn that again but I wasn't worried at all because I'm like if I did it once I can learn it again and then once I hung on the rim again I thought to myself I think this is when it was I'm like if I went from barely touching the rim to hanging on it just by jumping and trying over and over again I think I can I want to see how far I can go I think I can dunk because I only need a little bit more or even a lot more. I just think if I keep jumping or keep reaching for the next height, that's why I tell you guys to reach for the next height, I think I can do it. So then I went on YouTube and I saw Andy Nicholson's videos and he went from where I was hanging on the rim like this at my height to dunking it in 12 weeks about, I think. And it was incredible and that led me to the connection that showed me it was possible, especially because it was my height and he was starting from where I was starting. Because before then you see people my height doing it but you have no clue how they got there, so you think maybe they were just talented and gifted. So that's why my whole journey is to show you the bridge between things, because for me, that's really inspiring. And so, moving forward, what was I just about to say was I started training with the jump manual because Andy Nicholson did that jump manual. And I liked it, and like the first week I felt good, like maybe two weeks in where you do a lot. I was so much lifting legs, like leg press, um, so much heavy lifting crazy amount of volume and I felt like I in instantly increased but I th and I was somewhat strong because I was lifting back then by myself since like sophomore year of high school I started lifting everything legs and upper body and I was squatting a lot so I was pretty strong already and I felt some more bounce like I felt like I could jump a little higher after two three weeks but then like the next few weeks or after like I did like six total weeks and I didn't feel like any more increase it was kind of like the beginner gains and I'm like I feel like I was doing better jumping because every couple sessions I could feel something different. So maybe like, for example, if I jumped for two, three day sessions, like I didn't go every day, but every like two or three days when I would go for every session of jumping, something would feel a little better. So I would have a lower day, but then maybe jump on it when I would feel sore and sluggish, I'd still be able to get almost as high as I did on my fresh day. And I'm like, man, I don't even feel that fresh, but I'm, I can feel like my low day. That's how it all started. Um, so then I just kept that up and I, I cut the lifting after only six weeks and just started jumping from there on out and I made so much progress over the next years just jumping and like no lifting. Sometimes I would hit the squats here and there and then when I got to college I started lifting more but I was always lifting like upper body just because I was doing that and that was just more for like muscles and like look and I felt like it was helping. Um, but just jumping, always my training didn't really change, I just started jumping a ton. So then I got this dunk right here week 12 results and the reason I said week 12 was just because it was 12 weeks of actual like week training and there might have been a few weeks in there where I didn't train because I went on vacation or something but this was like 12 weeks of workouts but workouts as in jumping so the first six weeks you'll see that I, I uh, um, is, it, is it gonna lag on me come on so the, where's my first dunk I think this is it right here so I so this is what I used to do all the time, is just go to the gym and do this over and over again. So that I remember editing it so it was dramatic before. Let me turn this stupid thing off. Why do I have this here? So that was the first dunk off one. I, I'm, it barely showed it, but it lagged. But off one, and I used to, So what I would do is just do this over and over again. And before I could, before I could, um, before I could dunk or before I could get back rimmed, I was just running and touching the rim over and over again, running and touching the rim, and then I would lay up and try to just lay up as high as I can with the ball. So I just did the same thing over and over again, but reaching a little higher. Okay, so that was it. That was the first dunk, and that day, 
Um, I had a lot of missed attempts. I was doing it over and over again, so many back rims. And even days before that, I was having a lot of back rims. So it took forever to get one down. And that one was amazing feeling. It was like a shock that I could even, that I even did it. That's why I still call it my first dunk because it's a rim in a gym that I used to play with all my friends all the times, all the times. And, um, Never thought it was possible at some point, and that gym I dunked on, so it was incredible. So now, let's get to the good stuff. I hope it doesn't lag like this. How do I make it not lag? Anyway, so then, um, let's see, this one, close attempts off bounce. I was trying to get my first bounce dunk, right? And then the same rim, I got my first dunks off bounce, and they were left, right, and they were, uh, they were two hands, which is really weird. And I think it's because I just had more control, and I was getting with my fingertips, so like, I don't really understand that because I feel like I could reach, but when I would try to do one hand dunks, it was always catch with two and one. I didn't have the coordination to catch with one and dunk. So that's why I was dunking with two hands. I don't know, it's so weird. My journey's like so backwards. So all these dunks are kind of lower rims. They were like 9-11, dunks in my backyard. Okay, now basic one hand dunks at FAU, I think this is it. Basic one hand, August 4th, 2012. Oh wait, before I watch it. Um. Let me see when it was. So, let's see. So, my very first dunk was, oh my god, 12.26. That's my number. Oh my god, that's so weird. February 21st, 2012, which was probably about 12 weeks. Yeah, maybe like, so I started, I remember starting around my birthday, maybe like November. So, I think it took me like three months from being able to touch it here. But that might have been 10 feet. So, I might have been able to touch it here to like just get enough to dunk it. So, then February to August 4th to get my first bounce dunk on 10 feet, at least like on video and things like that. And I think like I was doing other things. Seeing improvement jumped a lot, sorry about this. Jumped a lot today, got a pretty good amount of dunks and should have got the two hand down. So I was doing like drop step jumps, getting up pretty good, left right jumps by the way. Is this it right here? I don't know if I made this one. Oh! That was my first dunk on 10 feet. Congrats, Steve! Yo, that's wild to see because I don't even like remember getting that. I remember that dunk. I honestly remember it because like I, it was the first time dunking in this gym and I remember thinking it's like it's a college gym and I feel like I can go anywhere and dunk now. I don't have to go to my gym. I don't have to go to like the LA Fitness. It was like a cool, that it was like the, it was a terrible toss. Hey! And I pushed it through. It looks like I had room to spare, but I did not. It, all these dunks were like barely going in. This is crazy. This is my first. They're all the same too, and they're so awkward. I'm barely getting them, and it's. Oof. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at those sleeveless shirts. Look at that. No beard. Okay. We're working out here. Super awkward form. I'm always like reaching back. The ball's low. It's just really awful. I'm surprised I even got these, man. Ooh, okay, wait, let me see that one again. I replayed it, I think, because it was a little bit of a little bit of a yam. So all these dunks though. Ooh, see, I could not I there's no chance I was getting two hands. Okay, so what I the other thing is that the thing I used to do in these sessions too back when I would upload them. So August 4th might not be the exact day I got this because sometimes I took a few days to edit these things because I had a terrible computer. But a lot of these sessions, I would take out all the misses because I didn't want to see it. I just wanted to see all the good stuff, like a highlight reel. Now I post all my misses for you guys and so I can look back at myself and see all the jumps I do and it's just more like research and more data that I can look back on. But like, so these days I probably had a lot of misses and I jumped a ton. I used to jump a, a lot. I had younger legs too. 2012, August 4th, I was 20. Or not even, I was 19. So I was 19 right here. Was I? Math? Yeah, 19. 19 and a half. So I got a lot of good dunks, man. I'm really, this is incredible. But um, definitely all off the lob. And I remember specifically another video that came, I'm pretty sure after this, which was the first time I dunked my wrist, where I dunked the ball and my wrist hit the rim. Because all these, it was like palm, palm, palm. So like, I was probably getting my hand over the rim, but when I would just enough to dunk it like that. Um, so yeah. And then I got more basic dunks, t uh, misses, first dunks on outdoor, same dunks, more power. First time dunking my wrist a couple weeks later. So that was really, and then weak dunk off the dribble. I don't know if that was my first off the dribble, but let me watch his first time dunking my wrist. Let's see it. I hate how it goes to this. No, what the heck? 
Okay. Full sale, full sale baby. Is a place where Yo, shout out Full Sale, my dog sponsoring. Alright. This is at UCF, and this is actually the rim that I started on, my very first start day, which is 9, 10 and a half. So, that was not the, that was not the wrist dunk. But I like that. See, like all these things are huge differences because I caught it here, and the fact that I caught it and brought it up was like a big achievement for me. Now it that's like, it's just funny that that was an achievement that day, and that's that's why I'm slow mowing, mowing it because I thought that was a really cool dunk. And then when I, I don't know what this guy's talking to me about, but um, was that the wrist dunk? That might have been it. I I know I like replay it. If that was it, that was like lame. But I look, <laughs> I look at the camera like I'm. Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. Okay, hold on. That was it. That was it. You can kind of see my hand go in. Pretty good. Pretty good. So like now it's like every dunk is wrist. Even if I'm like doing a trick, it's wrist. Like even yesterday I did a windmill on 9-11 and it was wrist and I don't even think that was a, that best of grade of a jump, you know? And it's like, it's, it's, a different, it's a different type of height that you have to get at to be able to, look, got my wrist in the rim. It's a different height to do a whole trick, do a huge dunk, cock it back and still hit your wrist, even though this is wrist in the rim. Like I'm sure you guys know that, but back then that was a huge goal just to even hit my wrist on the rim while I dunk it. And it's funny to think about that too, that that was um, part of my thing. Anyway, so that's pretty much part one of the dunk journey analysis. Let me look, um, um, I, I hope it was enough information. It's just part one, I'm gonna go now, it's probably to like my, I'm gonna, I need to kind of organize a little better, see when I got my first, um, dribble dunk, maybe left, right, and right, left, and also when I got my first windmill, because that was a big achievement for me and a big trick that I chased. It was the first trick I had in mind as soon as I wanted to dunk. I'm like, the second I dunked, I was chasing that windmill, and then that's pretty much it. So I really wanted to make this video kind of live of me watching my first dunk, and I don't mean it to me sound like a gimmick or anything. I'm sure you guys know that. It was just that my first dunk is still my first dunk in my heart. But it wasn't my first legit 10 foot dunk, so that was it. It was pretty ugly, but I'll take it. And it was really good. And I remember that day still. And let's get it. And um, lots of stuff coming soon. This shirt's a little outdated, but this, I'm going to update it with this uh, same print. I got more logos and sayings and shirts coming soon that I'm excited for because I feel like I know that, I even learned today, this is so off topic, but I learned today that when you're in the room with people talking about some topic or some experts in the room your brain waves match with them and like that's why it's like when you're around people you may um get more energy from them so if you're in a hype dunk session together you may get some more energy to dunk better so i want to kind of make the apparel that reminds you to kind of remember that we're all watching and that we're all in the energy together hopefully but i don't know if that works as well as as somebody in person but that's the idea Anyway, that's Dunk Journey Analysis Part 1, boy, and um, I'm dunking in two days on Sunday. Today's Friday, resting, tomorrow, potentiation, aka warm-up, and Sunday, we out there. Let's get it! Oh, and check out my crazy goals. I have a crazy goal of Tomahawk, not crazy goal, but a crazy one is 10K on YouTube a month, woo, by December, and then Tomahawk in two months. I'm still chasing that. I had a great day yesterday where I... Got super close to the 9-11, best attempts yet. I have back rimmed it a while ago, but I hit my head on the backboard so solid, like I'm still a little woozy. And off, like back rimmed it twice off the dribble, and I think Sunday I might be able to get it. I'm just feeling really good about it. Let's go. Anything is possible. Come on, let's get it.